Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I hope you're doing so, so well today. Today, you guys, we are going to be making meatballs and cheesy, creamy butternut squash rigatoni. Yes, ma'am, I am so excited. So, this recipe, number one, I, 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 I'm gonna wing it. I, we'll see what happens. Um, number two is it's also inspired by ingredients that I had in my fridge that I needed to use up. For example, this butternut squash has been in my fridge forever, and I look in my fridge every day and I say, one day I'm gonna eat you, okay? <laughs> Just hang tight. So today's the day, okay. I also have some like cheese that I needed to use up and stuff like that, and yeah. So that is what we are going to be doing today. I had some rigatoni that I bought, and I, 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 want, I, want, I want to eat it, but I didn't want to like just eat it with like marinara or something, so. We're gonna make a sauce out of butternut squash. So let's get started. Okay, so let me heat up my pot here. This is my cast iron pot. I love it so much. What do they call these, Dutch ovens? Is that a Dutch oven? I don't know. I love it, because it's pretty and blue. Okay, so we're gonna let that heat up. Okay, so in here, you guys, I have heating up some olive oil. We're gonna add in some onions. These are just like roughly diced onions, roughly chopped. Okay. Actually set this over here. I didn't cut my onions up very nicely. Um, they're pretty rough, but that's okay because we are going to blend it and turn it into a sauce anyways. So, it don't matter. Okay? Okay. Okay, what's next? <sighs> I'm like in such a rush because I have to go to work soon. Um, I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I should have started filming right before I have to go to work, but here I am. Okay. So we're gonna add in some garlic. Let's put in the rest of this jar, how about that? Onions are done, let's add in our butternut squash. This was like a medium butternut squash. I would say that's like three and a half, maybe four cups. And then we're gonna add some spices. This is thyme, sage, paprika, pepper, and some turmeric. Not much, because again, I don't know what I'm doing, so. We'll adjust later if it needs anything. And then here, you guys, I have about two cups of the Better Than Bouillon No Chicken Chicken Base. It's the best vegan chicken broth base, whatever, um, that I found. I love this stuff. So we are gonna add this. I don't know if we're gonna add it all. Let's see. I don't wanna add too much because we're gonna add other liquids later. Let's see, what did I add? I added about a cup. Okay, that's not covering it. Let's add, oh well, let's add it all. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so now we're gonna cover it. Turn it down to low, which I already did. And we're gonna cook it for five to 10 minutes, but I don't know how long. So what's in between five and 10? So seven and a half. Hey Alexa, set timer for seven and a half minutes. Alexa, listen. I'm listening. Set timer for seven and a half minutes. Alexa, set timer for seven and a half minutes. Seven minutes you're and 30 seconds, starting now. Alexa, you're grounded. Go to bed. Mm. <laughs> I got Alexa, you guys. Um, Alexa. She's being honorary today. Like, what's up, dude? January 10th, 2019. You see what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Hey, Alexa, did you set a timer? You have seven minutes left on your seven minute and 30 second timer. Thanks, Alexa. What else can Alexa do? Let's see. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Everybody knows she could do that. Right now, it's 55 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 47 degrees. Hey Alexa, would you ever go vegan? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, think about it. <laughs> Alexa, how long does it take to boil butternut squash? 
It is recommended to boil butternut squash for 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Oh, shit. In the stove. I did not know you could ask that. Cool. What else can you ask? Okay. Alexa, what are some health benefits of butternut squash? A review from an Amazon customer about farmer's market butternut squash says, good product, good substitute for pumpkin. I like to trade off when feeding my dogs. It's a little less expensive than pumpkin with similar benefits. Did that answer your question? No. Thanks for your feedback. <laughs> Alexa, do you think I'm pretty? I'm sure you're a knockout, but take it from someone with no physical form. Beauty really does come from within. Aw, that's sweet. I like that. Alexa, I love you. That's really nice. Thanks. Alexa, what is a mukbang? Mukbang. Mukbang or miokbang is a live online audio-visual broadcast in which a host eats large amounts of foods while interacting with their audience. Usually done through an internet webcast, mukbang became popular in South Korea in the 2010s. Foods ranging from pizza to noodles are consumed in front of a camera for an internet audience. That about sums it up. Don't forget about all the drama too. <laughs> Alexa, what's your favorite animal? Seahorses make me smile, mostly because I can't help but picture sea monkey cowboys riding them across the ocean into the sunset. <laughs> that was cute. Okay, you guys, let's check on it. Whenever you open a pot of boiling liquids, always, I know you guys probably already know this, but just in case you don't, you don't cook and you want to start cooking or something, but you pick up the lid and open it away from your face so the steam doesn't come towards your place, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna say two more minutes because I can cut through them, but they're just a little bit firm. So, Alexa, would you kindly set another timer for two minutes? Two minutes, starting now. What else can Alexa do, you guys? That's funny, or fun, or useful. I got Amazon Music on there so I can listen to Music, I would play you a song while I'm trying to get copyright and all that. Come on, sauce. Holy up. You know what, you guys? I'm going to put something on my story or my community tab asking for questions or shout outs. Hey, guys. Filming right now. Ask me a question or let me know if you want to shout out. Love you! Oh, it's time! Now it's time for the fun part. So I turned the heat down really, really low. I have this right here. This is some cashew cream that I made for another recipe and I had some extra, so I just put it in this jar. Um, so we're gonna add it into this to give it some creamy, creamy texture because I love cashew cream. Holy moly. Okay, so. Also, I needed to get rid of this. I'm gonna be using the rest of this bag of cheese. This is the So Delicious Cheddar Cheese. Okay, put that in there. I'm gonna add some salt in here. Now for the really, really fun part. We are going to blend this up using my immersion blender, and I'm so excited because I love using this thing. So, let's get to it. Let me turn off the heat and blend away. Tilting your pot and kind of tilting the immersion blender helps blend it up. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs anything. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Oh dude. Yes, ma'am. It's 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 perfect. It is pretty liquidy for my liking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the heat back on and then I'm gonna get um some arrowroot powder. You can also use cornstarch. I'm gonna put it in there. This is like two tablespoons maybe of arrowroot powder. And again, you can always use cornstarch. Um, but we're gonna 
used to thicken up the sauce. Okay, I'm just using about half of that. We'll see how that works. You guys, this is so good. I can't wait to eat this. This could, this is good just even as like a soup also. Okay, so it's starting to thicken up. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let me get out everything else ready so we can eat, yeah. I've got my cooked rigatoni right here. I gave my ladle away when I moved because I didn't have space for it. Um, so we're just gonna use a measuring cup and we're gonna scoop some sauce on there. Yeah, ooh, girl. She done already had hers. <laughs> RuPaul reference, for those of you who don't know. <gasps> Look at these, yum, 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 yum. Let's get that over. Oh, jeez, I thought that was gonna fall. Whew. Okay, and then I've got my meatballs that are almost burnt. <laughs> <laughs> but they are good. I wasn't paying close enough attention to them. Okay. I almost burnt them all. They're just extra crispy today. Okay, look at this. <gasps> Yum. Let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Girl, bye. Mmm. I like my noodles al dente, like super al dente. Mmm. So they're extra chewy. Oh my god. Oh, yes. So good, you guys. Oh, and these meatballs, by the way, I forgot to mention, are from Gardein. They are the Gardein meatless meatballs. They're my favorite vegan meatballs that I've found so far. Mm. What time is it? I gotta get ready for work. Okay, I have time. And we also need to see if anybody left any comments on the community tab. Mm. Mm hmm. Let's see. Siva Shrita. Siva Shrita. That's a cool name says, hey, do you like the Indian culture? Do you want to visit India someday if you haven't already? P.S. You're beautiful, amazing, and hot. Oh, thanks. No, you're beautiful, amazing, and hot. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Indian culture. I don't know, like, too much about it. Um, I feel really ignorant saying that. Gosh. <laughs> um, one of my um, co-workers that I'm pretty close with is from India and she shows me all of the beautiful pictures of where she's from and she goes back every year I should ask her about the culture and how that you say that that's what I'm gonna do when I see her today I'm gonna see her today I'll tell you one thing, this woman can cook like nobody's business and she makes the best food. Oh my god. I should have her cook for me for a mukbang. <laughs> and oh my god, I'd love to visit India. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. It's gorgeous there. Yes. Thank you for your question. Gemini 50-50. Hey, you. One of my OGs. I could use a shout out today. You're the best. No, you're the best. Shout out to you. You've been around my channel for a long time, and I really always appreciate your comments and um, you being so nice and so heart. Shout out to you, Gemini. Amber. Beheller, oh my god, Beheller asks, dream vacation destination. Love you, girl. Love you too, Amber. Thank you so much for your question. Anywhere tropical, on the beach, anything like that. God, I mean, all of them are like dream vacation destinations, right? But I just like being on the beach, on the ocean, 
anywhere like that. I know it's like cliche to say, but I really want to go to Bora Bora. This is so good. I'm staying in little shacks above the water. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, that would be amazing. Can you imagine just like waking up, stretching your arms and then diving into the ocean? That sounds so amazing. Haiti, Haiti Ba asks, would you ever travel the world? Yes, ma'am. I was gonna go to Thailand in April to see Callie, but she has different plans now and she's actually going to Italy. So I might go to Italy. I've already been to Italy, but I'd go again. Why not? Thank you for your question. Ayla asks, what would be your ultimate food you'd want to eat for the rest of your life? <laughs> chips, 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 chips. Potatoes, like anything potatoes, especially if they're fried, and onions. Onions and potatoes. <laughs> but like food as a dish, I guess I would go with like tacos. Or burritos. It's good because you get like a whole meal wrapped in a blanket. You know? It's good. Amanda Stoneburner. Can I have a shout out please? Shout out to you, Amanda. Amanda hug and kiss. <laughs> we always used to say that in high school. We had a friend named Amanda. We'd go, Amanda, Amanda, hug and kiss. Get it, Amanda, hug and kiss. I need one of those. Shout out to you. Aziza the Queen, yes ma'am. Says love your videos, thank you so much. Heart to you. Cece Danielle wants a shout out. Shout out to you, Cece. What's going on girl? How you do? You guys, please make this sauce. It's amazing. Sloppy Eats wants a shout out. Do you have a channel? Let's see. You do! Everybody go subscribe to Sloppy Eats. I'm gonna subscribe to you too. ASMR eating noodles with birds and whispering sounds. <gasps> I love it. You guys know Hungry Her Before ASMR, my girl. Um, she um, does ASMR, obviously. Um, she's always got like bird sounds going on in the background. <laughs> she's like, I hate those birds. I love them. Sloppy eats. Shout out to you. Amelia, Amelia, oh my God, there's noodles in my throat. Amelia, um, <laughs> Amelia asks, do you like your job? Would you ever move away from Texas? Love you. I do like my job. I like my job. It keeps me on my feet, keeps me on my toes. Ultimately, I would like to move into something that is more, oh, there's a red robin outside. Oh, they're so pretty. Bright red freaking birds. There's a red robin that comes around here. There's a blue jay. There's these little tiny itty bitty itty bitty boo 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 finches. They're so cute. Those are my favorite. And then there's a woodpecker. This woodpecker comes around sometimes. It's like knock 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 knocking 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 away. Give me a headache. But he's cute. Red robin flew away. Red robin? Cardinal. Did I say red robin? A robin? I think it's called a cardinal. One of those two. Beautiful birds. Okay. Do I? Yeah, I love my job. My job is bomb.com, bomb diggity dit dit dot no. I love it. I mean, it's hard. It's hard work. It's very laborious, and um, I'm oh, work. I work hard all the time. 
I'm in the service industry, by the way, you guys. I do catering management. Sometimes I bartend. But ultimately, like I was saying, we got sidetracked. I'd like to move into something like more media based online as a career. And of course, vegan centralized because um, that's what I want to do. I want to show the world that being vegan is fun and awesome and exciting and delicious and not a bad thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to spread the vegan love by food. <laughs> Would you ever move away from Texas? God, I love Austin so much, but it's possible. But my whole family is here, you know? Like, I'm not gonna move away from my mom, my dad, my brothers. Love you. Kendra Love wants a shout out. Shout out, Kendra Love. How you doing, girl? And CC, did I shout you out? CC, shout out. I didn't hurt your comment, so I didn't know. Okay, let's see if there's any more. Crystal Ellis asks, would you ever open up your own vegan restaurant? If you ever do, let us know. I'm sure there are plenty of us willing to travel for some awesome vegan grub you rock. <laughs> That's funny. Um, the idea of opening up my own restaurant is so super exciting, but I've worked in restaurants for years it's hard work it is a lot of work and like being tied down to a restaurant is not appealing to me at all um, cat hair so so you know, I'm eating all the meatballs. <laughs> Ooh, let me dunk this in some sauce. So, you know, it's not appealing to me, but, you know, like, I do really enjoy cooking. <laughs> See? Like, I like to cook. Like, I love to, like, cook and entertain and, um, you know, have people eat my food. I don't know. Anything's possible. But I really what I like to do and why I, you know, do what I do as far as, like, mukbangs go is, like I said, I want to show the world, like, how easy veganism is and that just because I'm vegan doesn't mean... I'm eating a fucking acai bowl every day. Who, mm -mm. Like, you know, like this is the kind of foods we eat. I want to show people that cooking is easy and fun and awesome. And, you know, like there are people that like only eat out. They only eat out or they'll, when they go grocery shopping, it's all like prepackaged foods, like foods that's, that are already made. Like, I buy processed foods, don't get me wrong, but, like, like as far as, like, meals. Like, everything in my fridge or pantry is, like, stuff that I have to put together. And I really enjoy doing that. And you really get to, you know, learn about flavors and flavor your food the way you like. But if I ever open up a restaurant, you'll be the first one to know. Okay. That's it. I'm done. I'm stuffed. <laughs> and I gotta get ready for work. I gotta go. Okay, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!